like to paint. I like, I, I've done it like all my life. I'm actually taking painting this year for school. And, you know, I get to paint and get hours to be in honor society in school. So it really works out. We started with the uh, senior citizens from the Office of the Aging and then we realized uh, it's going to be a huge project. It's way bigger than it seems so we also involved some of the kids from the Creative Art Camp and then Greg has been instrumental in inviting some community members to come and join in just to make it a whole community project. Really, I mean, we haven't really said no, nope, you know, somebody can't paint. Gar is really excited about this um, mural that is being done to my left. Two years ago, we, Jill Pettigrew and I had a conversation about this amazing space over here that we could put a mural up on and she ran with it and decided to apply to Go Arch for a grant. She spent a whole bunch of time designing it, drawing it, and now the community's painting it and it looks incredible <laughs> and we're so excited. I mean, a little partial because it's right next to Go Art, so we get to look at it every day. Um, but it's amazing how she's showing all of Batavia, the history of Batavia from when the Holland Land Office started here and everything growing. And I can look out my door every day and get to see something incredible. It also works into a new project. I'm standing here holding some caution tape because we're putting in a music garden. And so this whole thing is going to be this collective thing and we just got really lucky that the county said yes to having a painting on their wall that happens to face Gohar. I do different styles but the whole premise of it was that I was going to design it and then do like a black outline to make it look like a coloring book and then senior citizens from the Office of the Aging were going to come over and paint in all the colors so we gave them all you know I think there's 80 some choices of colors. I think I when I first came in in 2016 we had just got done funding the Art Trail, which was ran by Brian Kemp, and he started putting murals up all over the place. So this, um, the goal it is that this becomes part of the Art Trail, and the goal is that people keep applying to do more murals all over the city so that we can keep having them. I mean, there's another one also, Mandy uh, Humphrey did one down by the insurance agency. Uh, so there's they're, they're popping up everywhere. We want people to come to the city, walk around, see all these murals. If you're an artist and you want to do this, and you need ideas of places to do them, I'm more than willing to help um, find these places. Jill's a very good friend of mine, and I thought that this whole mural was a great idea, and I wanted to be a part of it. I'm not from Batavia. I actually moved here five years ago, so I spent tons of time in the library, because I don't know a lot, I didn't know a lot about Batavia's history. Tons of time in the library, I went to the Holland Land Office, and then talking to residents that are actually from here, and some of their memories, because I wanted to include some things that, that they remember and then just bring it into like the future where we, where's the you know where's the city of Batavia going to go from here we want people to come from all over the region to come and see these art pieces and to travel the to tour our space and then stop into our bars and restaurants and go do all the different activities down here i think the part that when i was doing the black outline is when people would stop by and tell me about their memories of things which that i think is the, that that just was it for me. Like when people would stop by and talk and say, "Oh, I remember this and I remember that and this happened here." And so that's been really cool. And that's really what it's all about. 